welcome to Ace Linguistics. This channel is about all things linguistic. So let's see what we've got today. We already talked about constituency in the sense that sentences have an internal structure below sentence level, which is the units that consist of words and they are like an intermediary structure between word level and sentence level. It is important to be able to know which words in a sentence comprise a constituent. The good thing is there are actually tests, linguistic tests, that have been run and they prove that constituents are a cognitive reality. I mean, constituents are a natural way of grouping of words in a sentence. And I'm going to tell you how. For example, if I tell you a sentence, like I talk to the personal trainer, and then you ask me, who did you talk to? In response to your question, I would say the personal trainer. I will not say the, because the is not a constituent, but the personal trainer is a constituent. A constituent is a group of words that forms a complete structural unit that can stand on its own independently. There are a couple of tests that we can run to figure out what the constituents are in a sentence. One of those tests that would be relevant to the example that I just gave you is called a pro form substitution. What does pro form mean? Have you heard the word pronoun? Okay, so what is a pronoun? A pronoun is a word that can replace a noun phrase. So pro, instead, if you put anything other than noun, you can create pro verb. You can say pro whatever. But I'm just going to say, just take pro noun and pro verb. So the, the umbrella term for these is pro form. Okay, so one of the tests that can help us determine what, a, what group of words are a constituent is that a constituent can be replaced by a pro form. So if it's a noun phrase, it can be replaced with a pronoun. If it's a verb, it can be replaced with a pro verb. So for example, if I tell you somebody who saw everyone in the organization says that John interviewed Bob. So I want to know if the word somebody is a constituent. Somebody is a noun, noun phrase here. And then you can replace it with a, with a pro form, which in this case would be pronoun. So somebody, the pronoun for somebody would be he or she. So I'm going to replace he. He who saw everyone in the organization says that John interviewed Bob. This kind of feels weird. But if you say he says that John interviewed Bob, here you have replaced this entire thing with, an, with a pronoun. You see he. So here somebody who saw everyone in the organization is a constituent because as a noun phrase it can be replaced with a pronoun. I can say someone who saw everyone there says that john interviewed bob so there here is it's a pronoun for the adverbial prepositional phrase so the fact that i can replace in the organization with the word there with the pro form the, there proves that in the organization is a constituent it passes the pro form substitution constituency test Another substitution test that I can run on this sentence is if, if you ask me that John interviewed Bob, is it the constituent? I would say yes, because I can replace it with the pro form something and it's still the, the sentence, the resulting sentence would be grammatical. Therefore, that John interviewed Bob is a constituent. This is a rather complex sentence. 
but later I will give you in the next video I will give you a simple sentence and then as the sentence passes the constituency test I will show you how that constituent is reflected as a node in the tree thanks for your time and attention and see you again soon